se prende una luz que... Ah. Bueno, me acaban de... I, a, I was just appointed as a, the um, chair of this uh, session because uh, I'm wearing my suit. So we're going to start with the, the uh, Lucknog, uh, Lucknog afternoon. We are going to start with a very attractive presentation are there any presentations while Jorge sits down? Do you know Jorge Villa? Those of you outside, if you can come, come in because we're going to close the doors. So we're going to start with uh, the presentation by the board of Lucknow, the super powerful are going to Erika Vega and Ariel Wecker will be in charge. Please, a round of applause for them. Ariel Wecker studied uh, at uh, the French uh, uh, um, um, uh, is uh, the president of the board of uh, directors of Lacanag, and Erika Vega won uh, several Nobel prizes. She will, well, she will let you know about it. Good afternoon. I hope you really enjoyed your lunch. Thank you, Dr. Thomas Albert Lynch, strategic advisor to manners for <laughs> for diplomat uh, pets and the like. So let's give a very brief uh, explanation, very, very brief, uh, because if, uh, I, we won't uh, dwell too long. I, I have very interesting prices for those who ask questions, because if not, we are always saying the same once and again. You may have realized if you come here often, it's Erika's fault, not mine, of course, to tell you what Lacknog is. And uh, we expect questions from the audience. You will be rewarded with an exclusive prize. Go ahead, Erika. Thank you, Mr. Chair. My dear boss. So let us open. <clears throat> our event, our agenda, the agenda that we prepared for this event, 2024, Vlaknog. So, as the board will give you a brief overview of the approach at organization so that we can start with the technical presentations that we have prepared for all of you. Vlaknog is the Network Operators Group for Latin America and the Caribbean. It's uh, an international organization, a nonprofit organization, with a headquarters in the House of Internet in Montevideo, in Uruguay. We share the headquarters with LACNIC. And the members of this organization, uh, it's, um, it includes all the uh, stakeholders in charge of operator uh, operations, uh, internet operations in the region. It was created, LACNOG was created 14 years ago, and the mission and the vision of LACNOG are fully focused on working as a community and uh, gathering people operating the networks in our region that work for the development of the internet in the countries of the region, uh, enabling us to exchange experiences and participate in the events uh, that we hold annually, and to participate in our discussion lists, in our mailing list uh, of LACNOC. That is the way we started to work. We want to be uh, 
uh, reference uh, in several technical uh, topics of the internet and the idea is to continue to strengthen or to continue to work to strengthen uh, the uh, links between the different uh, network operators in the countries and uh, that you may make us known and work with us strengthening knowledge on different topics uh, for the operations of the internet or that we you can tell us how we can contribute for the uh, and operators groups in each country so it is with that uh, mission and vision that we focus on three general objectives to uh, learn and collaborate together and the organization structure that we have is with the culture is that all our members work uh, on a voluntary basis from the board that includes seven people down to the programs committee who are in charge of uh, picking the papers that we will discuss at the Lackanac uh, segments of our event, including all the staff that uh, supports us. You, you may have seen that we have a booth outside they develop our website and where we publish a number of contents and all these members that we have in our community support us uh, on a voluntary basis. Many of the activities that we have in the working groups that you'll see later are done uh, from our, our remote, not in person. And at these events, we organize some activities that we consider that are important to do in person, including our assembly. These are the members in our organization. We have the programs committee. The, these are in charge of uh, uh, picking the uh, contents of the, uh, the annual events. Then we have the board. We are in charge of the executive management of uh, LACNOG. Then we have the working groups focusing on specific themes. I'm going to show you uh, what we have. And then we have the community that participates in our events, in our discussions, in the different working groups, and the community that gives us the contents in the uh, annual in-person events. We have regional collaboration. We have the same coverage of LACNIC in Latin America and the Caribbean. At present, we have a bit more than uh, 10 working groups on different topics. We are developing our 14th uh, uh, event, and we have more than 50 volunteers working in the organization added to the people in the programs committee, in the board, in uh, the staff, uh, and uh, the uh, working group chairs. At present, we have over 1,300 uh, participants in our mailing list. There you have the QR code. If you are not part of the uh, discussion list, uh, then you can scan it. And you can start getting together with the join uh, this mailing list. The idea is for you to use it to publish information that you consider that is of value or uh, to ask a request on some topic. In this list, in this uh, mailing list, we have all the LACNOC members, but in addition, there are many persons and experts on different topics. And the idea is that uh, as a community, we may <coughs> discuss uh, topics and we can focus on specific problems you have. These are the working groups so far. Each working group has a chair that uh, develops an annual uh, plan of action and activities that are carried out annually. And everybody is invited to participate in these working groups. You can join any of these working groups. Yeah, um, and you may identify uh, some of the people that work at LACNOG uh, during this event. And the idea is we want you to, to approach us and to let us know if you want to be in one of those working groups and contributing with your knowledge, if you think that you can provide support with your knowledge, or if you want to know some how some working group can support you on some specific topics. So please address us and we can see how we, we can assist you. 
So all the activities we organize with the different working groups, the remote activities, the webinars we organize are free. You don't have to pay anything. We at LACNOG organize different technical workshops online. Others are in person. These workshops involve paying no fees. If as a country you contact us and let us know about the need for developing a specific workshop for a specific group regarding one of these topics, we can discuss these things and we can figure out which is the best way to organize this, but this is done always free of charge. Here you have the QR code that will take you to our website. It contains more information on each of the working groups. I'll leave the screen for a while so you can take a picture. So as I was saying, the idea is that you will have a Q&A session now. Over the week, we'll be at our booth, and we could meet during the different sessions of the event. But you can please come and visit our booth so you learn more about our, about our organization. We also have some prizes, so you can come and visit and ask questions if required. During this week, during our event, we'll have different objectives. The main objective, and this is one of the in-person activities, is the members' assembly of our organization. This assembly is done with the founding members of LACNOG. So this is a closed event only for the founding members of the organization. We'll also continue speaking in order to identify topics. So during these events where we meet in person, we plan producing webinars, podcasts, and relevant content for the operators. So our podcast, you can look them up in the internet. And also LACNIC has a lot of podcasts. But we have developed several podcasts as LACNOC itself. So a further objective is to meet other similar organizations. We also have partnerships with regional organizations with which we have developed several joint initiatives. The idea is that you get to know what LACNOG is. We have the portal. We have a portal, as I said. And the idea is that the community gets to know us better and learn in details the task we are devoted to, as well as our objectives. We look forward to your participation. We like to encourage the participation of the community. The participants who have here, please get in touch with us so that you can learn more about the working groups and if we can assist you in terms of technical contents and also on the different topics of the working groups that I referred to earlier on. We also have agreements with different sponsors in order to generate resources and build infrastructure that contributes to organizing the technical workshops in order to build capacities in the different countries. So what we seek to achieve is that you learn more about our organization. Please visit our booth and also take advantage of this initial activity of LACNOG to ask questions and to get in touch with us. So welcome to LACNOG and thank you very much to all of you. Any questions? If there are no further questions, if, there's a, if there are questions, you get a prize. Otherwise, you can visit our booth. And during this week, we're going to be inviting you to visit our booth. There we'll be having a couple of sessions to get information from operators because we are being asked to give assistance to operators in the region so that we can work on some ITF projects. So 
now that we're here in Paraguay, we should take advantage of this opportunity. So very soon we'll be sending you further details of this. But we look forward to seeing you in our booth. So thank you very much.